What's up guys, it's Rick Pug here and today we just got a shipment of live crickets. We got a thousand uh, three quarter inch crickets I believe from RetsHowFood.com. Now, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I highly, highly recommend you order from RetsHowFood.com because they have high quality products, great prices, and they will get you your food within 72 hours. So, um, got my big tubs and egg crates, and after we put the crickets in the cage, uh, we'll go inside and we can make them some food and gut load them so they'll be nice and healthy when I feed them to my animals. I apologize for the rain, but I have, my mom says that I have to put the crickets in the cage out here because she doesn't want them escaping in the house and it's raining. So, yeah, I'm going to have to bear with me on this one, but let's get the crickets in the cage. Okay guys, so I got egg crates and stuff, got the crickets, and let's open them up. So after I cut that slip, I just literally rip the box open. And I'm not really grossed out by crickets or anything, so now what I do is I literally just dump them all out. Great quality crickets. So this should be a thousand, uh, I think three quarter inch crickets. And what I'm gonna do now is literally just set up some egg crate and most of the cage over here. Come on guys. Go to this side. This. Yes. Okay, so I go inside now and I don't know what you feed your cricket, but I feed mine potatoes, lettuce, and carrots. And I strongly believe that you should feed your crickets very well because um Basically, whatever the cricket eats, um, the animal eats. If my crickets are eating lettuce and then my bearded dragon is eating the crickets, in the long run, who's getting the lettuce? The bearded dragon. So, that's how I think about it. Um, I do use crickets pretty much every day, but every couple days I'll go through here, pick out um, all the dead crickets I can find. Now that we have food now, I'll kind of explain how I have it set up. Uh, in one side I have my food, which in this case is carrots and lettuce. Then the other side I have all of my egg crates that the crickets hide in. And then that's really it as far as the setup goes. And this is a 72 quart tub. Uh, crickets do need good ventilation um, so the humidity isn't too high and so it doesn't stink. So we got the lid out most of it and put in window screening and it works very well. It has little clips like that. And we just store it right under this table that has some wet on it. Unboxing my new crickets and kind of setting them up. So I'll see you all next time. Remember to look that like button, subscribe, hit that bell, comment, all that good stuff. I'll see you all next time once again. Bye! See you with